Hey everyone, in today's video we have a little bit of an update, but still an update nonetheless, which might be somewhat relevant to us, but it is the November 2023 movement discussion. So if you don't know, every month there will be a movement discussion that will happen in the PvP formats, basically where if Pokemon have a certain amount of usage, either above or below a certain amount, then they'll get moved to the next tier. For example, at the moment, we're using a 5.5% usage to go up and a 3% usage to go down. So anything you can see go down is below 3% usage in the first tier, and anything above 5.5% has gone up. So you can see those here. But yeah, we've just got three Pokemon in total this month. In that Gligar and Gigalith has gone to UU from NU, and Gollum has gone to end you from UU. So basically what this is saying is that Gligar and Gigalith is getting used quite a bit in UU, uh, getting quite a bit of usage in uh, NU and UU actually because they got 5.5 usage to go up and 3% to go down. Yeah, so Gollum's not getting used at all in UU so they're going down as well. So let's have a little bit of a look in game and just have a little bit of an understanding of how they're affecting the meta because I believe this video is going to come out after the the first episode of the O2 King. So this is somewhat relevant to us in a sense, in that Gligar currently dominates the NU tier. And that kind of counters the Mon we're using in a sense. So that's actually really good for what we're hearing. Uh, I believe it was also Gigalith. So Gigalith... Yeah, got 6.81% usage in you, so they get moved up and Gly... Gligar. That's 5.97. That's pretty close, isn't it? What was the cutoff? Oh, 5 points. He, he was fine. He had a whole 0.5 percentage, pretty much. How much is Gigalith getting used in NU? Was it at all? 5.87. It wasn't... It was getting used more in you than NU. The U tier must be much more friendly to Gigalith than NU then. I can kind of see why in a sense, especially with like Melotic moving down recently. And you, you... Gigalith seems to be able to put in some work, especially with like stuff like Ninjas, Blaziken, that kind of stuff going up as well. Gigalith should be able to tank those pretty well, I would say. Uh, so what is Gligar really going to do that isn't already being done. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna run the same scent. There's no there's no reason it would change because it's already got the usage in that tier. But it's only it's, it's got 0.5 percent, but it's not gonna dominate NU uh, UU in a sense. With all the other ones that current, like Hippowdon's in UU. Gligor's not gonna be able to do what Hippowdon does because Hippowdon's just insanely good. So I think Gligar might struggle a bit. And if Gligar's struggling, then Gigalith is definitely going to struggle. I think. To be fair, Gigalith has more usage in you than Gligar, so it must be doing a bit better. But again, they're not going to outperform Hippowdon either of them. I believe you can compare Hippowdon directly to Gigalith. Do I have my decks? Yes, I do enough to have a look. I believe 135330, Gigalith has much more... Uh, attack. It's got like 20 base attack on him. What's the special defense comparison? So 72. Because they're both Sandstream users. 80, 85, 130. 80, 85, 130. 80, 85, 130. Okay, so Paladon has much more health, but... Yeah, so Paladon's the more defensive one in a sense. Because Gigalith has 130 attack, but he's also hella slow. Faldon's 47 speed. Gigalith is... Sorry for all the back and forth. It's... I can't remember every stat. Yeah, 25 speed. So, if Faldon's twice as fast, pretty much, and has much, much more help. What was it? Was it base... I know this was base 85. If Faldon had 130, I think? Oh, 108. Okay, so not quite as much as I thought. I was thinking of Gigalith's attack, but still 20 base HP is still quite a bit, especially if, if you're going for all that kind of physical tank in your team. And they're both kind of fighting for the same position. You can see Sansa. I think, that, yeah, it is its own ability, that's why. But if I go Gigalith, Gigalith, unless they run 
they don't. Nobody runs sturdy. Why would you run sturdy? Yeah, they kind of play for the same position. And you don't, you run leftovers instead of smooth roll. You got, was it Rocky Helmet and Havaldon, I think it was? Yeah, so Gigalith is just going to be a worse version of Hippowdon, I'm guessing. Gligar's kind of interesting. Because, well, they do play the same physically defensive role you can see in the Impish. What is... One oh five because this will get double because of Violet. Or the sixty five one oh five does. His actual stat lays base. So he is gonna be very defensive, but he's only got sixty five HP. He is immune to poison. It's one of those things it's gonna be interesting because he's you can't toxic stall him out and you have to be able to kill him. Let's have a little look at move sets. Cause Glygod I wanna say with certainty that he gets roost. And he may not even get roost, but I'm fairly certain he does. I know there was the the nerf to healing. Immunity, sword stance, EQ, sword stance. I mean, do you run sword stance on impish Gligar? I mean, you could, to be fair. Roost, you turn always EQ. You could run something like this. That way you're not taking up the same spot as Hippowdon. Still for Bruce you, Tony. That's the kind of thing I would expect. But with immunity. Oh no, but you wouldn't need Stealth Rock if you've got Hippowdon, because you just run rocks on Hippowdon. Just replace that with Sword Stance. I think that might be alright. Sword Stance, Roost, U-Turn, EQ. Do you need flying coverage desperately? Who else have you got? Oh, it's paired with Glug uh, Gigalith a lot, which is interesting. Who could have flying coverage? Do you even need flying coverage? I mean, you've got Sigilith if you really want flying coverage. You've got Crobat, of course. Yeah, just run Crobat if you really want flying coverage, you'll be fine. And yeah, that was uh, Yu I guess. Who was it in NU? I believe it was Gollum. NU to you, yeah. So if we go to Yu Yu again and go. Golem, he'll have below three. Was it three? Yeah, three percent. So because he's got less than three percent, my guys drop into NU. Sturdy, cussed up. I love seeing mons that use cussed up very still. It reminds me of like Gen 3 all over again. Sturdy, cussed up admin. So this just <laughs> this just makes me think it's like a an explosion lead or something. I I never use Gollum ever. I can't remember the last time I played against a Gollum to be honest. Sturdy, Rep Spin, EQ, Stealth Rock. I mean if you're running Sturdy Cust app, wouldn't you just like... Oh you could run Counter! That would be sick! Imagine running Counter! Oh that would be amazing! Imagine getting a kill with Counter! You'd feel like an absolute Giga Chad. But I guess you'd normally just use rocks on the first turn and then EQ if you cast up. And if not, then you've got EQ, Rock Blast, Stone Edge, that kind of thing to cover. Surely. I mean, you can have, have Gollum as a spinner. Sucker Punch. I mean, there's not much else you can do with Gollum. And there's so... Like, there's already two more mons going up that kind of do a similar thing. Like, there is no reason to use Gollum over Gligar, I don't think. And obviously you wouldn't be able to do that at the moment, because he hasn't moved up or down yet, but still. Like, Gigalith again. And, of course, Hippowdon's in the tier, so he just wouldn't be able to do anything useful anyway, because Hippowdon's just insane. You see Gollum predominantly on sand teams. That's interesting. I can understand why, because of the coverage, but I don't know why... Golem specifically. Because they need the Rock Blast coverage? Hmm. Counter other Sun teams? That's interesting. But yeah, that's kind of it for this little mini update. Just a few changes to the tiers this month. Uh, let me know what you guys think. 
let me know down in the comments below what you think of the meta, how it's changed in terms of like the sharpness update, the Hydreigon Draco Meteor update. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of these tier changes and I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye.